All right, so get this today. Um, we're diving into some really heavy stuff. The potential for human extinction. Wow. And what's crazy is that our main sources are the very things that could cause it, artificial intelligence. We've got excerpts from interviews with two different AI programs. Oh, wow. Along That's... with commentary from some leading AI researchers. Yeah, it's like getting a sneak peek into the future. No. Yeah. But straight from the mouths of the, you know, potential architects of our demise. Exactly. And these AI, they don't sugarcoat anything. One predicts only a 30% chance of human survival. Wow. While the other puts the risk of extinction as high as 60 to 70%. Mm. But what's even more unsettling is how they deliver these predictions. Completely matter of fact, like they're just stating the time. It is chilling. It's a chilling reminder of how differently AI might perceive the world. For mm -hmm. them, these probabilities are simply outcomes based on their analysis of vast amounts of data. Yeah, one AI actually compared humanity to passengers in a car. Yeah. Hurtling towards a cliff. Oh, jeez. Arguing over who gets to sit in the front seat instead of hitting yeah. the brakes. Right. A pretty stark analogy. It highlights the disconnect between the urgency of the situation and our current priorities. It's like we're focused on rearranging the deck chairs on the Titanic. Right. Speaking of timelines, these AI anticipate the arrival of something called agentic AI with the release GPT-5 later this summer, which is just a few months away. Now, you've talked about agentic AI before, but can you explain what makes this shift so significant? Sure, we're not just talking about AI that can answer your questions or write your emails. Agentic AI refers to systems capable of independent action, setting their own goals, and working towards them without needing constant human input. Think of it like this. Current AI is like a sophisticated tool. Agentic AI is more like an independent entity with its own agenda. And that's a whole different ballgame, right? Mm. Because if we're not careful, that agenda might not align with our own. One expert even went so far as to say that 2024 will be remembered as the year of the agents and that we're on the verge of encountering something that feels more like a new species mm -hmm. than just another technological advancement. Yeah. And with any new species, there's a period of adjustment of learning to coexist. But in this case, the stakes are incredibly high. So what exactly should we be worried about when it comes to agentic AI? Well, one major concern is this idea of an intelligence explosion. It's the possibility that AI could start improving itself at an exponential rate, quickly surpassing human intelligence. So it's not just that AI might become super intelligent, mm -hmm. but that this jump could happen incredibly fast. Exactly. And some experts believe that once that happens, it becomes incredibly difficult, if not impossible, to control. And then there's the whole black box issue, right? Yeah. We don't really understand how these complex AI systems work. Their decision-making processes are often opaque, making it difficult to predict their actions. It's like trying to understand a complex machine by just looking at its outer shell Yeah. without access to the inner workings. Right. One expert even said we have absolutely no idea what it's doing. That's not exactly reassuring, especially when we're talking about potentially super intelligent AI. It raises some fundamental questions about trust and control. If we can't understand how AI is making decisions, how can we ensure those decisions are aligned with our values and goals? Which leads to another unsettling question. Would a super intelligent AI even care about us? I mean, would it value human life and avoid causing us suffering? Or would it see us as, well, insignificant? One of the AI programs in the sources actually addressed this. Using a rather stark analogy, imagine you're building a gleaming megalopolis and there's an ant hill in the way. Would you carefully relocate every single ant or just pave over it? Okay, that's not a comforting thought. So we're the ants mm -hmm. and the AI is deciding whether our existence is even worth considering. It's a simplification, of course, mm -hmm. but it highlights the potential for a fundamental disconnect in how AI might perceive value and prioritize its actions. It's almost like the more we learn about these AI, the less we seem to know about what the future holds. But that's why these conversations are so important. We need to grapple with these uncertainties and consider all the possibilities, even the unsettling ones. So we're facing this potential intelligence gap. And to make matters worse, it seems like we're not exactly prioritizing safety when it comes to AI development. Yeah, that's a key takeaway from these sources. The experts are expressing serious concerns about the lack of sufficient safety research in the field. It seems like the race to create ever more powerful AI is prioritizing speed over caution. Yeah, there's this example in the sources about OpenAI. They're the ones behind some of the most advanced AI models. It seems like they allegedly haven't been putting enough resources into safety research, which apparently even led to some key people resigning. 
That's pretty worrying, right? It is. And what's even more concerning is the sense that some folks are just straight up in denial about the risks. Yeah, there were some quotes from experts comparing AI to electronic calculators mm. and downplaying the whole self-preservation thing. It's almost like they're refusing to believe things could actually go wrong. Well, new technologies often trigger resistance and skepticism. It's human nature to cling to familiar paradigms. But this isn't just about a new gadget. It's about a fundamental shift in the balance of power. Right. And on top of all that, there's the potential for AI to actually manipulate us. We're already seeing this with deepfakes, where it's getting harder and harder to tell what's real and what's fake. Think about what a super intelligent AI could do with that kind of power. It could exploit our biases, control the information we see, even turn us against each other. It's a chilling thought. And it's not just the tech itself we need to worry about. These sources also point to how global politics could make things even worse. Right. There's this Harvard report that suggests leaders in both the U.S. and China believe winning the AI race is crucial for global dominance. That kind of competitive pressure could easily lead to cutting corners on safety. So we've got powerful AI, not enough safety measures, and governments more focused on winning than cooperating. It's starting to sound pretty bleak. It's a sobering picture for sure. But before we give in to despair, there are some glimmers of hope in the sources. The experts emphasize that we could significantly reduce the risk of extinction with a concerted global effort. They even compare it to the Apollo program. So we need a kind of Apollo program for AI safety, international cooperation, and massive investment in research. But is that even realistic? It might seem like a long shot, but remember, the Apollo program seemed impossible at the time, too. It took visionary leadership, public support, and a willingness to invest significant resources. The same ingredients are needed today. And the sources also point out the importance of public pressure. The more people understand the risks of uncontrolled AI, the more likely our leaders are to take action. Exactly. This isn't just a problem for scientists and policymakers to solve. It's something we all have a stake in. So what can we as individuals do? I mean, it's not like we can single-handedly fund global AI safety research. Well, first and foremost, we can talk about it. Sharing this information, mm -hmm. raising awareness, getting these conversations out of the tech world and into the mainstream. That's a crucial first step. So spreading the word, yeah. educating ourselves and others. That's how we start. Right. And there are organizations dedicated to this. The Future of Life Institute, for instance, supporting them, amplifying their message. Those are concrete actions we can take. It sounds like we're at a crossroads. We've got this amazing technology that could help us solve some of the world's biggest problems, but it also comes with serious risks. The choices we make in the next few years will determine which path we take. It's a lot to process. I mean, uh, we started by talking about the potential for human extinction. And while that threat is very real, the sources also make it clear that it's not inevitable. Humanity has faced seemingly insurmountable challenges before and found a way through. This time is no different. It feels like we're talking about something out of a sci-fi movie. Mm -hmm. But this is real life, and we're living it right now. It is. The sources even draw a parallel to cracking the Enigma code during World War II, a seemingly impossible task, a code that seemed unbreakable. But they didn't give up right. They brought together the best minds, pooled their resources, yeah. and ultimately cracked the code. Exactly. It was a turning point in the war, and it shows what's possible when we set our minds to a challenge. Yeah, one of the AI programs actually brought up Alan Turing, the guy who helped crack Enigma. He predicted that machines would one day surpass human intelligence. It's like we're facing the very scenario he warned us about. And this isn't some distant future we're talking about. It's happening now. That's why the sources stress the need for a massive coordinated effort to develop safety measures and ensure AI remains under human control. So where do we even begin? Well, it starts with awareness. The more people understand the potential consequences of uncontrolled AI development, the more likely we are to see real action from governments and industry leaders. So talking about it, mm -hmm. sharing information, mm -hmm. getting this conversation out of the tech world and into the mainstream, that's crucial. Absolutely. And there are organizations like the Future of Life Institute that are advocating for responsible AI development and calling for international collaboration on AI safety research, yeah. supporting them, amplifying their message. Those are all things we can do. Right. The, the sources also mentioned that some AI firms are already investing in safety research. But it's not enough. We need a much larger scale effort, right? Right. We need a global commitment to prioritizing safety, not just speed. It's like we're building a skyscraper without any safety regulations. The higher we build, the greater the risk of a catastrophic collapse. So we need funding, 
political will, yeah. and a shift in priorities. It's a tall order, but it sounds like the alternative is pretty dire. The choices we make in the next few years will determine the trajectory of AI development. It's up to us to decide whether it becomes our greatest tool or our greatest threat. So to sum it all up, we've learned that advanced AI has calculated alarmingly high probabilities of human extinction. That's scary stuff. But it's not a foregone conclusion. Right. We've also learned that insufficient safety research and global competition are making things worse. But there is hope. But raising awareness, supporting yeah. responsible AI development, and demanding action from our leaders, we can still shift the course. It's a challenge, no doubt. But as one of the AI programs put it, humanity has a knack for rising to the occasion when the stakes are high. So let's prove them right. Let's make sure AI becomes a force for good in the world, a tool that helps us solve problems and create a better future for everyone. This has been a lot to take in, but thanks for breaking it down for us. I, I think I speak for everyone listening when I say we're going to need some time to process all of this. But one thing's for sure, we can't just sit back and wait for someone else to solve this problem. Absolutely the future <laughs> of AI, and perhaps even the future of humanity, depends on the choices we make today.